the NASA tribe honors its traditional justice system over the rules of the West, and it has preserved a communal system for hundreds of years. The NASA are the second largest of Colombia's indigenous groups. There are about 300,000 of them living in the southwestern region of Cauca, and they've refused to take sides in the long, ongoing battle between Colombia's government and paramilitaries, such as the FARC, even though fighters have attacked their villages. The NASA have successfully preserved their language and other traditions, including a unique system of justice. Al Jazeera's Monica Villamizar traveled to a remote NASA village and brought back this exclusive look at those traditional ways. This is Judgment Day for Juan Carlos Troches from the NASA Indian tribe of Colombia. He killed his cousin, 16-year-old Armando Di Su, one year ago. It is the first time the NASA Indians have allowed anyone to look into their traditional way of carrying out justice. We do not believe in the Western way of punishment. We correct and advise the wrongdoer so that harmony is restored. The process involves the entire tribe. The perpetrator and his family sit in the middle. The victim's family and the community watch the trial from outside the circle. Evidence is brought forth, and the spiritual leaders reach a verdict after consulting the community. In this case, the young man is hung until he confesses the whole truth, including whether others were involved in the crime. Then he is whiplashed 30 times. Justice has been done, according to the victim's family. I feel more calm now. Before I felt so much pain, I could not work properly, and I was always thinking about my eldest son. Traditional doctors look after the murderer's wounds the next morning. The young perpetrator will be locked in a room for as long as it takes for his mind to be freed of the evil spirits that the community think led him to commit the crime. He will then be released as the NASA tribe believes long confinement and isolation from nature harms individuals more than it benefits the community. He will still have to work for 15 years and pay reparations to the family of the boy he murdered. It is a practice that has worked for this community for hundreds of years, despite efforts by the non-indigenous authorities to impose a more conventional system. Monica Villamizar, Al Jazeera, Cauca, Colombia.